All right, we should have sound now. Woohoo! All right. I like to start a few minutes early so everyone can get their notification and catch up with us. It helps. Chris Yost, good morning. N.C. Lawson, good morning. I saw Ronog pa pa back there. So, hi, Ronog. Good morning. Uh, Cindy King, yay! Tammy Cushman, yay! Uh, let's see. Georgette, good morning from Knoxville, Tennessee. Awesome, awesome. Robin, hello, everyone from Overcast, Maryland. I read that our weather next week here is going to be amazing. So I think I'll get my motorcycle left and go for a ride and feel good. So Robin, hi Sue. Uh, let's see, Linda, good morning, good morning. Susie, morning from North Carolina. Andrea says good morning. Jenny, good morning Sue and everyone. Sonia, good morning. Nana, hi Nana. Hi, she says hi Sue, hello, hello. Uh, yeah, Anne Primard, yeah, you made it. That's awesome. Susan Williams, uh, hey, uh, hey, Sue and the OML gang. Yes, that we are a gang. Now, I have to tell you guys, I was that close to having a pajama day, uh, because I was wearing my favorite pajamas, which, of course, are Halloween pajamas. You can't be surprised, right? But, I decided to get dressed and the shirt I'm wearing, the girls got it for me. It's an official Star Trek shirt and you can tell by the color, I'm the captain. The girls, because they're both nurses, they got science ones. So I'm like still the boss. So there we go. <laughs> Love those PJ days. I know, right? Hello, good morning, Maureen and Sonia. And Arlen's in the house. All right, Arlen. All right, all right, all right. So, start off with our little quilt talk. It happens to be a mug rug talk. <laughs> I've been having a ball with these, you guys. This is the walk on the beach, uh, for sure. Isabel! Hi, Isabel. Good morning. Um, it's really cute. So, you have seagulls. You have people walking. You have a dog walking kind of away from the water so he's probably uh wet <laughs> so people and dog and then i decided to get a little funny uh because i was looking for other animal prints that would be uh funny and i made duck duck goose because why not right <laughs> why not i love it i love it i love star trek the original one i love them all i love them all so yeah i'm captain so yeah it's really cute. It's really cute. I I told B says, I hope you like it. And I said, I have been waiting my whole life for a captain's shirt. I just have. I just have. And now I have it. Um, this one I thought was kind of funny too. I like the shape of it. It's a little bit different. And it's because the foot is so big. Eh? 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 Get it? Everybody get it? Yeah, big foot. Okay, <laughs> just for fun, just for fun. So all of these come in a bon bundle, which is a great deal. You get two of them for free. So what I said, if enough people buy the bundle, I will add these two in for free for everyone who's purchased it and everyone who in the future will purchase it. So all of the beach mug rugs for $15. You really can't complain, guys. They're also all sold separately, so if you like one or don't like one. But um, Bigfoot needs love, too. Hi, Jude and Miley. Hello, hello. Um, yeah, so, so far only six people have got the bundle, so we're a little far away from the goal. But make it happen if you want free things. Now, I think this set would be perfect for uh, just about any place, but you know, a sunroom, I'm thinking camping, um, stuff like that. I think it would be uh, suitable, perfectly suitable. And I also like that I was able to match all the fabrics and the thread colors. You certainly don't have to, but I just thought it was fun. 
I would save the seagull one for someone who's annoying because seagulls are annoying. So there we go. And the feet and the dog ones. Uh, I wish I could take my uh, rescue boys to a beach. They would just love, 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 love it. So there you go. That's a good deal, you guys. Make it happen. Free stuff. I'm always trying to get you guys, give you guys free stuff, and it doesn't seem to be working. I don't know. What what else? Just everyone buys something, and then you get free stuff. Because that would be, you get four free mug rugs. I can't do much better than that. And, of course, every time you purchase, it helps keep me in business and literally uh, feeds me. So, <laughs> so, now today... Today, 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 we are doing a easy flower mug rug. So I don't have a pictures of it, picture of it because I think it's kind of fun if you guys watch it happen, so to speak. But I have a couple colorways. This is my favorite one. So this is the background um, fabric. And this will be the flower. There's a big flower in the middle. Uh, but I was also thinking for the center of the flower, look at this. It's quite, quite, I don't know what the word is. Bright? Bright, I guess. But I want to see if I can fussy cut one of these for the center of the flower. I thought that would be cool for that. So here's colorway two. So either that fabric or the lighter one and this, if it fits, would be the flower and then one of those in the center. So you guys vote and let me know which one you want. And I'm trying to scrap it up here if you guys haven't figured that out. I'm not sure if everything's going to fit. Um, and I'm hoping that these will be just about big enough for the folded, the folded um, envelope folding. Bigfoot up first or duck, duck, go goose? I think everyone, someone mentioned they like the footprints. I like having everything in here. Doggy prints. Of course it's the last one. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there we go. There we go. Oh yeah. By the way, the, um, thread pack of the day is med uh medley it, it it is very good poly it is monterey collection so the variegated is called fresh and it's the one that i really loved it has the yellows and the greens and a little bit of blue in it aren't they beautiful so there they are there i thought i'd put them out so you guys can see i can't wait to use this one i don't know what i'm using it for yet but um i would um i would i would use it as soon as i can so the yellow teal this one this one uh amy this will be the background and this will be the flower because the turquoise match pretty close anyways it's pretty close um i like this one because it is you know a busy background and um you know a solid flower and then we're gonna have the bright center so uh one two or three this being one uh this lighter background being two and this brighter background being three. So one, two, or three. Vote away which one you like best. Karina just joined us. Hello, Karina. I hope you're doing well. Definitely, I hope you're doing well. So pick one, two, or three. One, two, or three. Come on. One. Nana says one. Three, three. This is number three. Three, three, three. Oh, nice. Three. Lynn says, oh, because of the pink, Lynn. <laughs> three, three, three. Wow. Okay. That's awesome, guys. <laughs> uh, glad to, uh, Sally says, hello. Glad to enjoy the live. Three, 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 three. Well, you know, I, I had no idea. My favorite was this one, but this is gorgeous background fabric. 
and I think the turquoise is going to bring everything out. So yeah, it looks like the threes have it. So this is what you guys picked. It's beautiful. It's got lots of bright colors on it. If I can use these, there's a nice yellow that matches almost perfectly. And then hopefully this can be the flower. I'm hoping it fits. It is you know, a scrap, so I'll come up with something magically if it doesn't, but this is a gorgeous blue turquoise color. So let's go over to the machine and let's get this potty started, as they say. So, uh, needle, there we go. Th thanks for helping me choose, everyone. So again, I'm using, trying to use scraps today, and it doesn't always work, but I'm hoping it will. So here we are. I started a little bit just to make sure Captain Jack was working okay. And he is, he didn't have any problems. Um, and again, I'm scrapping. This is a re nice, perfectly round piece uh, that I cut on my Acu quilt ages ago and didn't end up using all of it. You know, you always cut extra, right? Um, so 7511 needle, I have pink thread loaded for no reason, but it still goes with this fabric. Let's have a peek at the fabric. So yeah, if you can scrap it up for smaller projects, I think it's great. Uh, let's see the line. I can feel the line. I want those pink flowers to be in quite a bit. So hopefully I can do it. Just bear with me. Where's the line? There's the line. Okay, pink flowers are in. You know, this dark color is really nice too. Let's stitch it down. So, uh, cutaway stabilizer, and I did the placement stitch, of course, and then I did uh, put my batting down, uh, made sure it was big enough, and it was, so yay. Uh, there we go. So now we have quilting stitches. Now these quilting stitches, if we're using a more plain fabric, you can use variegated thread on it and it will stand out perfectly. Uh, I'm not going to because it's too busy and it's not going to show. But here we go, the flower. Oh, I think that turquoise will be just fine. Love it. So yeah, if you want to use variegated thread on more of a plain background, like a blender fabric or something like that, uh, this is the perfect stitch for it. Uh, it looks really good, because if you notice, it's just going, it's going steadily around, and it looks great. It's a E4 stitch, so yeah, for sure. It's cool. I think I saw Jill's Garsberg. Yeah! Hi, Jill. Welcome. Glad you can make it. Glad you could make it. Uh, hopefully, she says UK is nice and sunny. Uh, it's not too bad here today. A little on the chilly side, but still pretty good. So, the pink shows up. The pink quilting shows up just enough. And I think the turquoise over here and on the other side, I think they're going to look really great matched up. So, yay! Yay! Did anyone uh, find it on the website? Go to omlembroidery.com. I don't think I remembered to put a link up. Uh, you will be surprised though, so go and look and then somebody can put a link up and tell me what's special about it. See, that didn't take too long. I could also pull that color out too. Okay, so now let's see how the applique looks. The turquoise. Well, yeah, I almost prefer a pink, but I think the turquoise will bring it out. So now we're going to stitch out the placement. Placement, placement, placement for our applique. Now there's only two appliques in this guy. 
So it's an easy stitch, but it's a fun stitch. And I wanted to see, because I had this fabric, I had a charm square, and the charm square will not work for the outside. It's way too close. But a charm square would work for the inside. So it's not quite that color, but I could have done it. I could have. Right now we will stick to the turquoise. I was also thinking yellow, but I have it set aside for my envelope. What do you guys think? Yellow and it has a little, a little dash of pink in it. So I could... That might look good. Hmm. Hmm. Turquoise? Yeah, stick with the turquoise. I do like the yellow, though. I really do. So, because I'm using scraps that are weird, weirdly shaped, oddly shaped, I want to make sure that it's all going to fit. So, when I, um, this is part of a layer cake, this turquoise, and actually this one, too. Um, and I try to keep the scraps along with the layer cake. So if I pull out something like this and I want just a little piece of matching stuff, then I have this and I know it matches. Just a little Sue organization bit there that I like to do. Uh, next is the covering stitches. So we better trim that baby. We better get it trimmed. So here we go and back here and get my nom nom scissors nom 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 what's going on in the chat let's see Linda hello glad you could make it oh Isabel yay uh nice nice lot of good people in the chat today love it so as always I very rarely trim at the machine because I want my appliques to be you know looking good and uh, just always take your time it takes a little practice I always hold the piece that I'm cutting it just puts a little bit of tension on it and I do like it get right into those corners there and we have the satin stitches are thick enough you don't have to be a hundred percent perfect the the only thing you have to really make sure when you're trimming is that you don't cut into it so that's why a lot of the times I have it stitch around twice because it uh it'll hold better so there we go there we go isn't that nice so that turquoise brings out that turquoise and I'm going to stick with my pink and we are going to do the outside right now. So let's go back to the machine and I think I did close up, didn't I? Uh, needle close. No, no, I did. I'm going to stick with the pink and... Now we're going to do that, and then we're going to do the center. Wonderful. Any uh, questions so far, anybody? Did someone go find the link for the product? Unless I forgot to put it up, but I was pretty sure I did. The, yeah. Because you guys would like this to stitch. Let me see if I can check. Hold on. I'll still be right here. Still here, don't worry.
to go. It's up, and you guys really should go and look because it's free. Yeah, free. I'm going to put it on free for today and maybe tomorrow, and then I'll put it for a dollar or so. Something inexpensive. This is a good beginner mug rug, beginner embroidery machine, you know, users. So, yeah. So, free. Go to the website. Grab it. It's free. Uh, you don't have to check out or anything. You can just download it and boom you have it you're done so yes where is judy quilt she's probably out having fun amy says wow thank you hey tell all your friends about oml get them to pick up some designs i gotta kick this up a little bit you guys uh, i'm doing everything i can including a free design so you gotta love it and it's a really nice cute little mug rug. I love it. At 5 by 7 hoop. Did I forget to say that? I might have. I just might have. See that perfect? It's a turquoise and pink. Now there are more things. Oh, we're going to do the center. See what I can pull off for the center. Now on this one it has flowers in between each petal. So like mini flowers. Um... I think they'll still look good. I might do them all in pink or switch colors. I'm not really sure yet. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Thanks, Sue. Cute design. You're welcome. Everybody needs something to make you smile. So it's it's also kind of a, a bribe to get this going. Light a fire under your butt, as it were. Haha, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, get people going. That's, I can't do it because anytime I post something somewhere, people say you're self promoting and they throw me out and then that's it. Jesse, hi Jesse. Let's see. Wow, I just got my cart finished and paid. Thanks, Sue. You are welcome. You are welcome. So, yeah, guys, make it happy, happen for me. Um, I noticed that uh, Power Tools with Thread is up to 71,000 subscribers. So, I'm way behind. I'm way behind. Um, I'd like to get caught up and get to that 100,000. I think it would be really good. Uh, okay, so now... We're going to do the center. Let's see if I can pull this off. So first of all, we're going to do placement line. I'm just going to leave that pink in for now. I might do it. Okay, so it's fairly small. So it should be easy to do. Now I don't have, they're not all full ones. But look, so the center of this one, I know it's cut off a little bit. But we're not going to worry about that center of this one basically the center of the circle doesn't have to be exact for this one i just kind of guess i should be pretty close so i'm not going to get everything but i think bringing the pink into it is going to look really good i'm a little off could have brought it down a little bit but hey, isn't that cool? So now with fussy stitching, I guess you could call it <laughs> fussy stitching, uh, I've made it look completely different. So yeah, let's uh, trim that little circle. Um, again, I'm a little bit off and I don't think it matters. It doesn't bother me at all uh, because nothing's perfect. Nature is not perfect. And I think for fabric like this, that's, you know, bright, I don't know what I'd use this for, um, but I think it is absolutely perfect for this. Look at that. What do you guys think? Clever, clever. I'm happy. I love it. I love it. Uh, flowers are not perfect, so it looks uh, 
good to me. Well, that's the thing, you know, it, it flowers really aren't perfect. And I always say to don't be too hard on yourself, right? Because it's all good. Now, I think I am going to change my pink out. So, um, just in case you didn't know, the pink that I'm using and it's exquisite thread is uh, 309. And it's a beautiful pink color. You can really see it here. Beautiful pink color. And I am going to grab the, is it this one? I think it's this one. This one or this one? I think I like this one. 419 or 417. I think I'll go for the less gold, more yellow. This should be a neon yellow, believe it or not. And I'm going to be happy with that. So I'm going to do the center part with the yellow. So what I'm doing is bringing out different colors. Now, I, eh, there's on the flowers on the outside, I'm not necessarily going to do them all. I'll do a couple to show you how it looks, but I think because I don't want to cover up all my color flowers and everything. They're not big or anything like that, but you know, this turned out pretty well. I like it. So that's another way to use up scraps. Fussy cut it, fussy cut it. Power Tools has a morning video five days a week though, and probably she has more members. Yeah, I know. I just want to keep this going. That's my struggle. It's, uh, I gotta sell all my machines other than Captain Jack and yes, Ragnar too, and start clearing stuff out. And hopefully that'll keep me here entertaining you guys for, you know, another six months or something. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a struggle. However, I am happy as pie. And I love creating stuff like this. And I love stitching with you guys. So, yeah. Uh, it, let's see. I'm liking how that turned out. So, yes, it's not perfectly in there. But you get to see what it is. It's almost like the flowers facing that way or something. So, yeah. Now, we're almost done. So, which I like. And let's do one or two of the little flowers. Now, I've put a color change on each of these flowers so you can make them in whatever colors you want. Let's see how big they are. You could also do them all in the same color. So I think this is really cute. I'm really happy. Should I? Yes. A little bit closer for ya. So the yellow shows up quite nicely. Neon yellow, I thought Lynn would be impressed with that. Uh, we love being here, yay, I'm glad. Jackie, good morning, good morning to you. So see, they're just little flowers that match the big flower and I think they're kind of cute. So, and a little stitch around it to define it a little bit better. You can still see a little bit through, but I think that's okay. Yeah, what do you guys think? Is that cute? I can't decide what I should do. Uh, I don't want to do... Yeah, I'll do another yellow one. Actually, I kind of like it. So pink, and we want a bright turquoise. It's just a matter of changing the thread colors, right? Uh, a purple. There's a light pink, but I don't think light pink's gonna show up very well. And a turquoise. It's a little bit darker, but that's okay. So there we go. Jill, thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate that so much, you guys. Oh, by the way, today at 11.15, 
ish, just heavy on the ish, you guys know I'm coming. Um, we are going to be doing the members only class, which today we're going to be talking all about pull compensation. And I'm going to answer questions until you get it. So, yeah, it'll make sense to you by the time we're done. Jenny Owens, shout out, shout out. Thank you so much. It would look good with all the same color, wouldn't it? Hmm. Hmm. I am wishy-washy today, just so everybody knows. <laughs> I can't seem to decide on anything. So, Neon Yellow, thank you very much. That was absolutely perfect. Perfect perfection. So, I'm just putting, like, a turquoise in, because that should pull everything together. I think all yellow would be really nice without taking too much away from the fabric. They're small enough so they look good. Let's see what the turquoise does to it, how it changes it. And they're fast. Each one only takes like a, literally a minute to stitch up. So yeah. I just bought the complete set plus extras. I thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, that turquoise is pretty darn good. A little bit darker than that, uh, but it looks fantastic. Very cool. So we've only got two more little flowers, and then I'm going to hope, <laughs> hope that I can put the back on it properly because I'm using scraps and it might not work. Oh well, I like to live dangerously, right? Sometimes. <laughs> so the all the different colors I think would look really great. Always remember too, by the way, to pull your uh, thread in the direction it was meant to go. So you um, cut it at the top and then pull it through. I don't do it because every time I do, I bang the camera and then everything's not set up anymore. So I try not to do it. Um, but I only do that for the videos. The rest of the time I do it properly. Just makes it a little bit easier on my part. Cause I always work with a camera right in front of me. Like it's right there, right there. So it just makes it easier. Oh, the purple on this purple. That was the part I was trying to pull out. I didn't realize it was stitching right on it. Here, welcome, Jenny says, for the donation. Much appreciated. You all, I always look forward to getting up early on Saturdays just to watch you and enjoy the OML embroidery game. We really do have a fantastic game. We really do. It is a lot of fun. And everybody's so helpful and so kind. So, yes. Joanne! Oh, thank you so much. Uh, everything helps. Everything helps. I much appreciate it. Loving the purple. Loving the purple. Now, if for some reason you go back and go, hmm, I don't want two yellows, I just want one, you can always uh, rewind and stitch over it. It's not like there are, you know, millions and gazillions of stitches in it. And it might look cool with a little bit of the uh, yellow showing through. Now, I'm going to do a blue. Uh, it's not quite as dark as this blue, but I think it's going to look good. And then we just have to do the centers of the flowers and then we're going to put the back on. So it really is an easy stitch and it really is cute too. So hopefully, uh, because it's free, people will try step outside your embroidery uh, box and uh, get stitching for sure. Let's see, Isabel, Connie, 
There we go. Looks so cheerful! Rose! Hi, Sue and the gang made it. Oh, thank you so much for making it. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. I don't think Rose misses anything. Any video. See, that's actually pretty close. I could have put that one there and it's away from the blue, but, you know. I like how that turned out. That was a happy accident. I love it. It's close enough. It's close enough. Let's see. Yep, and then just the centers. So, and that's going to be a super fast. And there's trims because there's no other way of doing it. So, yeah. Now, what color? Black? Yeah, that'll make them stand out a little bit. There's no black in it, but that's okay. And, whew, I'm getting a little nervous about the back of it because I don't know if it's going to work or not. So, it's fun challenging yourself to using scraps. I, I laugh. <laughs> I laugh. Might as well use what you got, I always say. If it doesn't work out and you're doing an applique, you can either pick it out or just do it again. Just do it over again. So, yeah, it's easy. So, yeah, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, please. That helps even if you don't, you know, purchase any designs. Anything you do on YouTube with OML embroidery helps uh, because the more you do, the more um youtube pays attention to me so that is a great way oh yeah black eyed susan's almost yep black is okay it's a bit bold um but okay so deep breath i have my yellow i'm gonna leave the black in oh yeah see using a dark color makes it it separates it from the busy background, I think. I love it. I love it. That makes all the difference. So we got some groovy things going on here. So this is going to be really close. I don't know if what I'm doing here at the back, I don't know if it is a 10 square cut up. I didn't look, but... It's going to be close. So, oh yeah, but easy. Oh, but close. A little bit of on the sides. Just, just a little bit. It's pretty touchy. So fold facing in and you want it to cross over like this. And... Okay, ready guys? Deep breath. Let's see, living dangerously. I gotta be careful when it, depending on which way it goes. There we go. Yee! Okay, don't go much closer than that. Okay, so when I get closer to here, I get my all. And this is just a little one with kind of like a hook on the end and stitch slowly and there you go that was a bit too slowly i slipped just to make sure it goes and i kind of moved it a little bit so what i'm gonna do now that it's down is i'm gonna stitch that out again because i think it needs it um, just because I did that. I did that. I did it. Uh, I suppose we can stitch out the first one. No, that one's different. Okay, so let's rewind. And it's worth it if you are, you know, not happy with how it's stitched out. I mean, that won't make a huge difference. But it's also not the greatest, right? You are on the embroidery edge. I like to live on the embroidery edge, thank you. I try. There we go. Thank you. Now I feel better about it. Okay, so 
we're done. And I managed with my scraps and I'm pretty, oh, happy music. And I'm pretty happy with that. So let's go to the desk and we're gonna finish this baby. So we are going to pop it. Ah. Ugh. Pop it out and put my hoop in a safe spot. Big fabric scissors. I don't use my trimming scissors now. I am going to save the rest of this. There is more than enough of it. But I am not going to cut this part any closer. I didn't do too badly, though, did I, for that? Pinking shears are nowhere to be found yet. I will locate them at some point. They're probably downstairs. I'm still organizing and setting everything up and figuring out what I need to sell and all that kind of stuff. So I shall get to it. So I think we should call an official pajama day just for fun one of these days because I was so tempted to stay in my spider, my spider, my Halloween pajamas. Yay. So what are we agreeing on on the embroidery edge? Yeah, well, I mean, it, it's worth trying and that'll save you guys, um, that'll save you guys trying. Like if a, a charm square doesn't work, you're going to know that beforehand because I tried it. <laughs> I made sure of it. I'm all up for shortcuts and easy ways of doing stuff. So yeah, isn't that cute? Oh, I love it. That turned out better than I thought. And you know what? It's also the perfect size. So can we zoom in a little bit? Maybe a little close. Yeah, we can. You can see that better. Isn't that cute? So the black really made it and all the bright colors in the background. So, and this, uh, the flower fabric isn't too busy so you can do it. And fussy cut when you can, why not? Why not? Uh, you know, you know. So, any questions? Connie says, glad I can watch the recordings on some that I miss. Yeah, all the, even the membership classes, they're staying online. You get access to them. So, it's all good. It is all good. So, thank you guys for all your support. Um, this is my thank you to you guys because this is free. So uh, feel free, haha, ha, see what I did there? Um, feel free to uh, stitch one out. I'm gonna iron it so it's flat. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones. And look, it is perfect, the perfect size. Let me get my Yeti, look at that. Perfect size, perfect. I love it, I love it. So, Jill, thank you very much. So guys, get stitching, do enjoy, spread the OML embroidery word. Um, if you have any questions, then head on over to the OML embroidery university Facebook group. And I'll put this picture up on the website. This is my test, test stitch. Jill says the $10 is from my partner, Roger. Oh, Roger, thank you so much. That is so cool. Thanks, Jill, and thanks for letting us know. I love it for sure. Um, for sure, that is cool. So yeah, enjoy, make something that'll brighten up your house. Go to the beach, as I say. Uh, you can play Duck, Duck, Goose too. And if there's enough sales for the bundle, I will put these in for free. So, I mean, that's about as good as it gets, right? For sure. For sure. So, happy mug rug. I am still the mug rug queen. <laughs> and I will see the members for the next class coming up shortly what time it is yeah about half an hour which is perfect so i can take a breath so um let me know post it in the oml embroidery university facebook group so i can see what you guys did because 
I love this and I might do a couple more. I have some leftover background fabric that I can work with. I think it's great. So Leah says you'll always be the mug rug queen. <laughs> Thank you. I like that title very much. So happy stitching everyone. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks so much for all your support. Don't forget to like the video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.